high school teacher confessing. He repeatedly sexually abused one of his students. Yet the student's mother says a year and a half earlier, she begged Coweta County School administrators to investigate and to subsequently remove the teacher, and they never did. Well, now she is suing the district in federal court. And tonight, she is speaking only with 11 Lives' John Shirick about the allegations. I went to the school board. She fights back tears and struggles to find the words to describe the unspeakable. Her son, a high school student at Coweta County Public Schools at Winston Dowdell Academy, was sexually assaulted more than a dozen times at least by a teacher there, Michael Wilson. He confessed he gave her son's drugs for sex, and Wilson is now in state prison. But the mom says she went to school administrators a year and a half earlier when she first believed the teacher was assaulting her son, and she says they did nothing. The school should have done some investigation. If the school would have just done something, it wouldn't have continued. This week, the mom and her son filed a federal lawsuit against Coweta County Public Schools, accusing the school administrators of violating the provisions of Title IX by failing to investigate her reports of sexual abuse until it was too late. Her attorney, Bill Buchanan. 19 months too late, but our belief is that had this properly been investigated back when these claims and allegations were first made by my client uh, in December of 2014, uh, then perhaps this boy would not have had to have suffered through almost two years of continued molestation at the hands of the same teacher who was still allowed to, to remain in school. The lawsuit demands that the school system investigate whether the teacher assaulted other students who might have been afraid all these years, like her son was, to come forward. There has to be other students. He was a teacher for over 30 years. There has to be other students. My son can't be the only one. A school system spokesman says no one with Coweta County Schools can comment on a pending lawsuit. The woman's son graduated, is now 19, and she says is trying to get his life on track after all he's been through. The teacher is scheduled to be released from prison in two years. In Noonan, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.